in Paris that was covered with vines. Lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. The smallest one was Madeline. And every morning without fail, Madeline would get the mail. Merci, Monsieur Postman. Thank you. Everyone, letters and cards from New York City. Oh, oh, New York 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 if the girls received a letter, their day was just a little better. The letters came from far away, from pen pals in the USA. But though they wrote on a weekly basis, they'd never actually seen their faces. Till one fall day, they got the news that they were going on a cruise. Attention, mes enfants, your pen pals have invited us to come stay with them in New York City. We sail tomorrow. The Empire State Building at your liberty. New York City, here we come. After much anticipation, at last they reach their destination. Ah, New York, so beautiful, so exciting. There is the Empire State Building. It is good to be back. There are so many things I did not see on our last trip. We, oui, like my pen pal Suli, her parents are from China. I believe she's nothing like me. And my pen pal Maria, her parents are from Italy. She is nothing like me. I cannot wait to meet my pen pal, Maggie. Hmm, maybe she is just like me. Remember, little girls, in France we say, Vive la différence. The differences between us make life more interesting. Yes, Mrs. Isabel. Bon, very good. When they reached the city, Miss Clavel called a cab driver they knew well. Bonjour, Monsieur Bobby. Welcome back to America, ladies. Where to? The West Side Community Hall, s'il vous plaît. No problem. How glad they were to be back in the city, though it looked more scary today than pretty. Come from. Um, I am sure the place where the girls meet us will be very nice. Oh, I cannot go in there. It will be fine, mes petites. Vive la différence. And when they arrived at the West Side Hall, they got the biggest scare of all. <gasps> let out an awful squeal oh. till they saw the faces 
were not real. We didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> <laughs> we were just making Halloween masks. I'm Maggie. Oh, hello, Maggie. I am Madeline. <laughs> you don't look a thing like I imagined. Hello, nice to meet you, Pepper. Neither do you. Is today Halloween? Don't you know it's tomorrow? We do not have Halloween in France. No Halloween. That's no fun. But an American friend told us all about it. You dress up in costumes and go trick or treating from door to door. Yep, and there are ghosts and goblins and creepy things. It sounds so scary. <sighs> it's a little scary, but a lot of fun. Which one is Anne? I am. Are you Suli? That's me. Welcome to New York. You look different than I imagined. So do you. I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> it's so good to finally meet you. Soon the girls were chatting away, so as if they did this We're every day. So much fun the pen together. pals leader, yes. Miss Morgan Stern, greeted Miss Clavel in turn. I am so happy to meet you, Mademoiselle Morgan Stern. <laughs> the girls responded with delight and the party. A Halloween night. Off they hurried to many locales to spend the night with their pen pals. Twenty-four little girls in four straight lines, French and American, hands entwined. The girls found customs new and strange. Huh? <laughs> but soon was sure they liked the change. So Maggie's street was quite divine. So impressed was Madeline. Ooh, I like it here. Just wait till you hear the music. Ooh, what is that music? Don't you know, Madeline? That's jazz. Ooh, I like the jazz. Well, this is where I live. You live in the nightclub? Nope. We live over the nightclub. That night on the radio, Maggie heard her favorite show. Now, Comfy Corn Pads, the complete treat for fit feet, presents The Adventures of the Spider Lady. And as Madeline sat beside her, they heard a tale about a spider. Tonight, the Spider Lady weaves her web of evil intrigue in the city of lights, Paris, France. <gasps> Paris? Oh, no! I will start at the Eiffel Tower. And I will work my way through the streets of Paris. Grasp of the Spider Lady. Listen till the program's end. Will the Spider Lady's diabolical plan to take over Paris succeed? We'll find out tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? But I want to find out now if Paris is all right. It's just a story. You can't believe everything you hear on the radio. The Spider Lady is an actress. I read that her house looks just like a spider web. Of course you can't believe everything you read either. Then Maggie's mother said good night, tucked them in, and turned off the light. 
Get a good night's sleep, Madeline, because tomorrow is Halloween. The next day, the girls dressed for Halloween in costumes like they'd never seen. filled the girls with apprehension. <gasps> oh, it sounds so strange. What if we don't like it? Well, you won't know unless you try it. And I promise, trick-or-treating is fun. On October 31st, our very favorite night, when the sky is darkened and the sun turns out its light, wearing very scary masks, we ring our neighbor's bell and shout three spooky little words that we all know so well. Trick or treat, trick or treat, going door to door. Trick or treat, trick or treat, singing tricks galore. Trick or treat, trick or treat, goodies by the ton. Filling up our great big bag is our idea of fun. Trick or treat, trick or treat, will they give us cake? No! Trick or treat, trick or treat, a giant chocolate shake. No! Trick or treat, trick or treat, a yummy hot souffle. down and everywhere people seem quite pleased to share treats for tricksters standing there merci thank you i like halloween i love halloween but then when dusk began to fall they saw their shadow on the wall it didn't look too nice at all so they hurried back to the West Side Hall. The little girls came in from the streets so they could enjoy their Halloween treats. Candy! Candy! And more candy! Huh? Ha! Ah, a spider! <coughs> the girls could not believe their eyes when Madeline <gasps> got a spider a surprise. Calm down, little girls. Is it really a spider, Madeline? Hmm. No, Miss Clavel. It is an earring that looks like a spider. Ew! And here is the other one. Someone must have put them in my bag by mistake. A naughty baby? It is up to us. 
us to find out. A jeweler said by his account, their worth was of a huge amount. Ooh. More than the girls could even count. Wow. He added it was his belief the jewels were stolen by a thief. The earrings must be stolen goods. And I am very afraid the thieves will want them back. See, officer? What do you think? For sure. They're very expensive. Are they stolen? When the policeman checked his list, he said no earrings had been missed. Well, that is good. But we still have to find the owner. Now it was cold and dark outside. So Miss Clavel called for a ride. Where to this time, ladies? Madeline did what good detectives do. She thought of an important clue. It must have been the lady with all the jewels. Straight ahead, Monsieur Robbie. Okie dokie. But everywhere the girls would go, from buildings high to buildings low, the answer was the same one, no. Hmm. We checked with the person who loves jewels and the person who loves spiders. But maybe it's someone who loves both jewels and spiders. Someone very rich. Was there not a dogman here? Yep, but he's gone now. After searching all around, the earrings owner was not found. This was my last hope. I am afraid we will never find the owner. And I was so sure this was it. Oh, Maggie, where did you say the spider lady lives? In a house that looks like a spider web. This must be it. We must find her. Let's go up. She's not here. She's at the radio station. Her show is on tonight. Come on. Madeline knew that they must go to the Spider Lady's radio show. The Spider Lady? That's my favorite show. Huggy, please. So, with a little trepidation... They hurried to the radio station. Is this the doorman? You found them and then you lost them again? Oh, okay. Thank you. I can't do my show without my lucky earrings. I just can't. Voila! I believe this is it. Uh, huh? Yes? Oh. Pardon, mademoiselle. Have you lost something recently? Oh. My earrings? My spider earrings? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. You darling girl. You have saved the day. It gave Madeline such great pleasure to return the glittering treasure. The doorman found them in the lobby. He must have dropped them in your treat bag by mistake. Madeline, I am so proud. Now, as a reward, I have just enough time before my show to take you out to dinner. I insist. May my friends come too? Of course. Bring them in. <laughs> you have so many friends. <laughs> And I am happy to treat you all to dinner at my favorite restaurant. Ooh, American food! So for another Halloween treat, the actress took them out to eat in a restaurant quite elite. We love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love each other. Mmm, hamburgers, hot dogs, fried chicken. Egg rolls and spaghetti. Ooh. Ah. He 
pizza and pastrami. What is that? This is French food, my very favorite. Pate. What did you say? Pate? Escargot. They look like snails. They are. Le souffle au chocolat. It wobbles. The girls were all surprised to see French food of each variety. <laughs> Everything we eat at home. Mm, just like my mère, my mother. This food is so strange. Oh, snails! Yuck! Little yuck! They viewed it with uncertainty. It looks so strange. What if we don't like it? Well, you will not know if you like it unless you try it. <laughs> Okie dokie, Madeline. If you say so. Mm. More escargot, please. The girls ate every single bite, eating late into the night. Like our American customs? We, oui, Maggie. America is okie dokie with me, but how do you like our French customs? Vive la différence! That is right. Vive la différence! Vive le French! Vive la Louis! Vive the spiders! Then, in two straight lines, they went out the door to celebrate Halloween some more. That's all there is. There isn't any more.